name right now, Glenwood Springs. Colorado. I actually stayed here before. And they have, um, over there on the other side, they got the river down there, but on the other side, they have these little cabins that only have um, just like a bed, a light, and a fan. They don't even have electricity. So anyways, back to the truck. Let me tell you what I do know. And from my research and from talking to my mentors and getting on YouTube and everything else, I'll tell you what I do know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I did have the system pressurized again. Um, so there was a very small leak. Uh, nothing to be too worried about but basically that that tells me that it's it's not the radiator and it's not the the, the thermostat because and another reason why it's not those two things is because my truck has not ran hot so it's getting coolant through it it's it, it's you know the radiator is doing what it's supposed to do the uh, thermostat's doing what it's supposed to do. And um, what's the other thing? Um, I think we've eliminated. So when you're doing this stuff, when you're, when you're getting a lot of miles on your truck and stuff, you, start, you have to start eliminating things. And um, so anyways, we did the pressure test and I can basically eliminate, you know, uh, the thermostat, the radiator. I do know that this um, coolant filter has never been replaced. So that could be the cause to my issues, but they said that there was coolant. Let me take off these sunglasses in my oil, which I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know. He said it was thin and bubbly. I don't know that to be true because he also told me that he couldn't do a, an oil sample without um doing a pm on the truck so he might be just blowing smoke up my butt but i i do have pressure i do know that i have pressure somewhere and um yeah i don't i don't exactly know where so how's it going Landstar. oh you're landsar too i'm just doing a youtube video <laughs> yeah let me i'll be right back guys oh also one more thing here was that T on the firewall up by the uh, the passenger side on the firewall. There's a couple coolant hoses that run in, but this thing just busted right off. I might be just over exaggerating. I mean, I don't know. It could be something simple on my truck. So I'm expecting the worst and uh, I'm hoping for the best, but I do believe I have something going on. So. We're going to get to the bottom of it, for sure. Alright guys. Let me go a little bit more in depth on my uh, thought process on this thing. Um, Alright, first things first. I've had this, this is the runoff on the coolant. And I've had this bottle strapped here for the longest. And just until recently when I mowed my jug and I lost all my coolant, um, some got in there. But other than that, I haven't had any coolant in this bottle test. So this is called the bottle test for those of you guys that don't know. But basically, from what I know is if I had compression issues, then there would be coolant inside this bottle, which leads me to believe that maybe I don't have compression issues. <laughs> um, uh, so I, I don't know. As of now, um, I don't think I have any issues with my radiator, my thermostat, um, and I just... It, 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 it can't be a head gasket if there's not coolant in there. I don't know. Maybe it can. Maybe it can. I don't know. I'm just telling you guys my thought process. Like I said, this is just gathering information from a bunch of different sources that you're always going to hear from a bunch of different people. And everybody's got an opinion. And there's just... When it comes down to it, I'm getting an oil sample and a coolant sample. 
and I'm getting them both tested, and that's the only way I'm going to be able to tell. I can sit here and play this guessing game and do this and that and, and try to narrow it down and eliminate things and say what it is, say what it isn't, but at the end of the day, the only thing that's going to matter is that sample and that sample right there. So, anyways, I'm still babying this thing, and um, I don't even know where I'm at right now. I think I'm still in Colorado, almost Utah maybe? But check out these mountains right here. Beautiful. Gorgeous. So yeah, Landstar's got somebody coming to get the trailer out of Denver. And all I care about is if my truck's okay. So if I get it to California, my mechanic looks at it, I pull those samples, and I make sure my baby's all right, that, that's what matters, is making sure that I can still stay in business. So, anyways, thanks for tuning in, and um, I'll probably record a little bit more tomorrow. Um, I'll probably have like maybe a little bit less than 500 miles to do. So, like I said, I'm just babying this thing, and uh, yeah. I'll record a little bit more tomorrow and we'll go from there. I'll let you guys know if I have any breakdowns or if I need to be towed or anything like that. You guys will be the first to hear about it. So thanks for tuning in. Alright, what's up guys? Alright, so this is going to be the end of the video. But I did pick up my oil analysis kit right here from the TA. Boom and the little envelope to mail it back. But the guy did tell me some valuable information. Um, and he says on, on the DD-15s like I have, the coolant filters that they've been removing them completely, that I will lose a little bit of coolant doing that, taking that filter out. But he basically said that they're worthless. And a lot of people that have the DD-15 motors have been removing the coolant filters completely so let me know what you guys think about that in the comment is there any risk with doing that he said there wasn't but um yeah i'd just like to know uh your guys's comments and stuff on that also um you know i was asking him about the egr cooler and he said a way to tell is that your coolant will start getting dark and that's exactly what's been happening so i believe my issues I'm pretty sure that I got it narrowed down to EGR cooler which makes sense because I got like 540,000 miles um, you know in the in the in the coolant's been getting dark in that tank you know before I got the new coolant reservoir obviously it's clean now but I guarantee if I ran this for a while it'd start getting dark again but I got, I got it narrowed down to two things which is the EGR cooler and that coolant filter I don't know if I'm gonna get a new one or just take it out completely like I said let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, anyways, I've made it pretty much the whole way. Um, I'm going to Pelham, California, which is basically right outside of LA. I got about three or 194 miles left, three hours. So I've made it this far, but I do not believe that I have any kind of um, head gasket issues or anything like that. Um, I don't believe I have a blown head gasket. I don't believe um, that really I have any internal issues so far. So anyways, we're going to do an oil analysis and we're going to go from there. Anyways, leave your comments, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.